Hello friends, let us see the puzzle of finding the ratio of boys and girls in a country. There is a country where every family continues to have children until a boy is born. If they have a girl, they have another child. If a boy is born, then they stop. So what would be the proportion of boys to girls in such a country? Let's see the hint. We know that the probability of giving birth to a boy is 1 by 2 and the probability of giving birth to a girl is also 1 by 2 since there are only two cases either a girl can be born or a boy can be born. So let us suppose that in the first case itself the boy is born. So the probability is 1 by 2. In another case a girl is born first and then the boy. So the probability is 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 that is 1 by 4. In the third case two girls are born and then a boy is born. So the probability becomes 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 into 1 by 2 that is 1 by 8 and so on this process could continue till infinity. So can you now solve it? Let me tell you the concept used. The sum of such a series formed here that is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 and so on is an infinite metric progressive series. And the sum of such a series is found out using a upon 1 minus r where a is the first term and r is the common ratio of the series. Now the total probability of any event is equal to the submission of the probability of all the events. That is 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 and so on till infinity should be equal to 1. Let us find the expected number of boys. Number of boys expected must be equal to the submission of the probability of the event into the number of boys in that event. That is 1 by 2 into 1 which means the probability of the first event was 1 by 2 and the number of boys were 1. So 1 by 2 into 1. In the next case the probability of the event was 1 by 4 where a boy and a girl were born and number of boys in that event was 1. So 1 by 4 into 1 and so on till infinity. So we need to find the sum of the series 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 and so on till infinity. This is given by the sum of infinite terms of a GP as A that is 1 by 2 upon 1 minus R where R is also 1 by 2. So the expected number of boys comes out to be 1. Let us now find the expected number of girls. Similar to the previous case, the number of girls expected must be equal to the submission of the probability of the event into the number of girls in that event. Now the first event's probability was 1 by 2 into 0 as no girl was there. The second event where one girl and one boy were born the probability was 1 by 4 into 1 since there was one girl born. The third event having two girls and a boy being born, the event's probability was 1 by 8 into 2 number of girls and so on. We need to find the sum of the series 1 by 4, 2 by 8, 3 by 16 and 4 by 32 and so on. Such a series is called as arithmetic geometric series where the numerator are in the arithmetic progression and the denominators are in the geometric progression. To find the sum, we first write the equation of Sn as follows. We multiply this equation of Sn by 1 by 2 and subtract it from Sn. The net sum comes out to be Sn by 2 which is equals to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 16 plus 1 by 32 and so on till infinity. Now we find Sn with the help of this Sn by 2 that
that is we multiply this 2 to the terms of this series. So Sn comes out to be 1 by 2 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus 1 by 16 and so on. In this way, we converted the arithmetic and geometric series into simple geometric series. Again, we find out the sum of the series using infinite geometric progression formula. That is A upon 1 minus R, where A is 1 by 2 and R is 1 by 2. So the sum comes out to be 1. So the expected number of girls is 1. Hence, the ratio of boys to girls in such a country is 1 is to 1. Stay tuned and keep watching. For doubts, write in the comments section.